So without question, one of my favorite tools in my arsenal for content creation is my Stream Deck. The Stream Deck is an amazing tool that not only can you use for your live streams and your video production, you can also use this on your computer for your daily automation, your daily workflow. You can use this in so many ways. It's incredible the things that you can do with the Stream Deck. One thing that I love about the Stream Deck is how customizable it is. So when you first set your Stream Deck up, they have some keys built in. You can make the keys look any way that you want to. They have some built in, or you can take your Stream Deck to the next level and create your own keys. So you can take your Stream Deck from looking like this and make it look like this in just a snap by creating custom icons. So in this video, that's what I wanna cover. I wanna give you a quick walkthrough on how to set up custom icons for your Stream Deck, and we will do that right after this. So what's going on everybody? My name is Ken, I am Ken the Content Coach, and on this channel, I like to give you tips and tricks, Q and A's, encouragement, walkthroughs, anything that I can do to help you create content to get your story out there. Everybody has a message, everybody has a reason to create content. So I wanna help you just hit that record button, get your content out there. If there's anything that I can do to help you with that, check out my website, which you'll see at the bottom of the screen right here, kenthecontentcoach.com. That's where you can find me, I'd love to help you out. Once again, in this video, I want to talk to you about how to create custom key icons for your stream deck. And we're going to do that with a demonstration on screen. I've got a spot that I'm going to create a specific special key for, and you will see how easy it is to create keys to make your stream deck look exactly like you want it to look. So let's jump right into that. Now, when you first hook up your stream deck, this is what the software looks like. So you will see exactly what I'm seeing here. You have many different profiles. Now I have several profiles created. So the one that we're gonna work with in this video is the one for my Monday night live streams, Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern on this channel. We talk about content creation advice, talk to other creators, all kinds of stuff. So come hang out, Monday night, 7 p.m. So as you can see here, I do have one key blank and I have several different customized keys. So I've got my go live button. I've got a key set for my scene in Ecamm where it's just me on screen, where there's two of us on screen, some information about the guest, many different keys here that I use. What I'm gonna do for this video is create another key right here and show you how easy it is to create your own icon. So the first thing you need to do is decide what action you wanna create on the stream deck. For this video, I'm gonna actually set up a button that will automatically take me into Ecamm's live demo mode. And so we have that option here under the Ecamm category. So I'm gonna take this button here for live demo mode and I'm gonna drag it onto the key. Now, when I first drop it on there, you're gonna see it has its own built-in icon. There's a computer screen with an arrow. It says start live demo mode. That's kind of boring. So I want to change what that looks like. So what you have to do is first of all, click on the key. And when you look down at the bottom, you're gonna see your options for the title. So we can change the title. We'll go live demo mode for the title. Anything you want there is fine. And you can even decide whether or not you want that on the screen by clicking the T here. So I'm gonna drop that down. I don't wanna see the title that they have, so I'm gonna create my own key. So I'm gonna uncheck that show title. So now we just have a button that has a computer screen and an arrow. Now that would work. You would know by looking at it what that key is for, but it is pretty boring. So we're gonna change the way it looks. So the next thing you need to do is come down to your edit area, hit the drop down arrow here. You'll have a couple of options for creating keys or adding keys to this button. You can set from file if you have some keys you've already created. You can create a new icon, which we're gonna do here or you can open your Stream Deck icon library. Now the library is gonna have some pre-built keys that Elgato has provided for you. Again, in this video, we wanna create our own. So we're gonna hit create new icon. And as soon as we do that, you're gonna see a window open up. This is gonna be Elgato's website. They have a platform built so that you can create your own icon. Now there's many options here. You actually have some buttons at the bottom that you can use that they provided. There's some cool ones here, but we wanna create our own because we are creators. So that's what we're doing in this video. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is create a 1080 by 1080 graphic, making it look any way that you wanna make it look. So we're gonna do that real quick in Canva. We're gonna create a design. We will go, we'll do Instagram post because that is 1080 by 1080, too easy. And we want to start to bring our assets in. So again, you can create this any way that you wanna look. So I am going to create an Ecamm looking icon. So I'm gonna import some media here. I have the Ecamm icon. I'm going to import that. We will add this to our button. Now it's important to position this in a way that you can fit any text or anything you want. So what I'm going to do is add this. We'll center this on the button. 
And then I'm gonna add some text and we're just gonna say live demo mode, take any text you want to. You can make this look however you want. We will go, this looks good. So we'll go with this one and we're gonna call this live demo. All right, so there's live demo. Make this, however you wanna lay this out is completely fine. I'm gonna actually stretch this down, bring this back down a little bit. I wanna be able to see the letters. We have it centered. And let's change our font color. All right, so now we have our button. So let's hit download. We'll wait for that to come down. And while that's downloaded, we're gonna go back to Elgato. So back to where we're creating our key. Okay, so the options they give you here for creating your key, you've got text, you've got a picture, and then you can add colors behind it. So we're gonna click the picture icon to allow us to download. We're gonna download the file that we just created. So here's the live demo.png, open, and there is your key. Now, because I did not download this as transparent, the white background came through, and that's what I was going for. If you do have a transparent picture that you wanna use, then you can add colors, and you would simply do that by clicking one of these. You can either have a solid color or a gradient, so just to show that we will add that there and then you can make this whatever color that you want slide through your color options and then you can actually on this side under layers you can reorder what that looks like so okay so i'm happy with this key for this purpose over under the inspector you can actually see a preview of what the key would look like so that is there if you want to save this key simply hit the save key this will download it to your computer and then i'm going to go to my files and now it's as simple as going back to stream deck you want to hit the arrow again. Now we want to set from file and it's going to open up your file explorer here. You can select the key that you just selected and there is your key. So you can see there, there's the live demo key we just created and automatically it's going to be on the stream deck. So we will look at the stream deck here. This is what my stream deck now looks like. So you can see that key there. You can see it looks exactly like we created. It's that easy to create a key for your stream deck. So now that that's done, you can easily create multiple keys for your Stream Deck. You can make them look exactly like you want, customize in any way that you want to. That is one thing that is great about this. You can make your Stream Deck match your brand, your workflow, your desktop setup, anything that you wanna do, any kind of way that you can create, you can make your keys look like that. Hopefully this helps you do so. If you have any other questions about the Stream Deck, about keys about anything at all content creation with the stream deck make sure you throw them down in the comments below and if you have any questions about youtube in general anything at all put them in the comments below or check my website kenthecontentcoach.com you can find everything there we do just stream with me type streams we do uh, live streams for youtube q a's all that stuff you can find all that information on the website if i can do anything for you reach out to me ken at kenthecontentcoach.com i'd be happy to help you with anything that i can do if you're into this type of content, if you are a content creator who is looking to up your game, to figure out ways to do new things, if you're just getting started, if you're a veteran, anything at all, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell next to it so that you will know every time a video comes out. I look forward to getting to know you. Thanks for watching this video. Until the next video, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Just hit record, and we will see you next time. Later, y'all.